Hello, I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley with the Open to Hope Foundation, and I'm here at the Compassionate Friends National Conference with Pamela Higgins. Pamela is a workout person and d teaches the seniors and all sorts of people, and she's here at the conference getting people to move it after a loss. And Pamela, you lost your son uh, three years ago. Three years this past July 5th, wow. and so it is a journey. Yeah, it's early on, and I, you know, it's been three years, so I want you to hear she is working out. She's exercising. Well, I found for me, um, whatever your passion is, it keeps the grief at bay. It's always in your heart, front and center, but it just kind of distracts it. It helps you exert that energy in a new way, in a different way, and sometimes you discover a new passion, a new hobby, a new activity, and sometimes you pick up. It takes you a little while, but pick up what you enjoyed before. And I've always been a running enthusiast and enjoyed helping people get in shape or find their shape or their new limbs. <laughs> Not get in shape, but find your shape. Yes. <laughs> I yes. love that. What, yes. is, what is your shape? Okay, so okay, so here I am. I've had a loss. It's my first year. I, I have to tell you, I remember I was a, a, not a big fast runner, but I was a runner. And I was embarrassed the first time I did it because I was so ashamed. I felt like people were looking out their windows saying, oh, look, she's working out. She doesn't care. No. You know? And, uh, and we and we we find our place of, of, of giving getting over what others' perception are. We're on this journey and I love the I try and conceptualize it. William Shakespeare said everyone is a master of grief until it's their own. And so everyone can sit and say, Oh, they're happy or they're too sad. We find our place and we will not you know, back down from it. Every every day, even if it's just to get up and, hey, I'm going to walk to that bathroom, wash my face, and maybe go to the grocery store. Somebody calls, invite me out. What I found myself just stepping out of the box, doing things that I would never imagine myself to do, forcing myself to do it just for that strength. The more I did it, I had courage to do some other things. But um, just if you're not a jogger, find your passion. But if you think you might be interested in walking, walk a minute, jog a minute walk a minute, jog two minutes, trot, whatever it is. And once you get going, it's something that you pull from it, that energy, that inner strength, that confidence comes, that it's not just doing it for how I look, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you start to feel like, okay, I can do this. It's gonna be a day by day, moment by moment thing, then it becomes week by week, month by month. And we're, none of us are just fully gone. You know, we're still discovering new aspects of this journey, but being at the Compassionate Friends and other resources that help you heal, you find that, okay, I'm not in this alone. And if the tears come, the tears come, that's okay. And those tears are there because I love someone dearly and I will love them forever. And so, yes. Well, thank you so much for being on this YouTube today. You're awesome. And we want to ask you to just take a minute to think about finding your shape, huh? Yes. <laughs> finding your shape, finding your place, finding your pace. Uh, and thank you for watching this video. And we want to remind you, if you've lost hope, lean on ours till you find your own. Yes. God bless you. God bless.